Hi everyone, it's Steph here from feancards.blogspot.co.uk and I'm back today just to share with you this cute little box I've made and I just think it's so pretty. As you can tell, I am into my black, silver and pink at the moment. I just think it's a lovely colour combination. And this one I've used some silver um, cardstock and some black for the base. I've, this paper is from the Merry Music DSP pack. Um, obviously these here, the stamp and the coordinating punch, it's the Merry Little Labels and the Everyday Labels um, punch. And for the berry burst and the silver underneath, I've just cut them in half and then stacked them and then popped up on dimensionals. And it just looks, this is berry burst, I can't remember if I said that. And I just love how it turned out. And I made this specifically to fit this gorgeous tin of shortbread biscuits and I just think it's so nice like this will be lovely to give someone for Christmas you know if they don't want sweets biscuits everyone loves shortbread biscuits don't they well I do and as you can see it is beautiful and even more so it was a bargain I got this out of my local pen shop you know and it just looks it just looks beautiful so this fits inside of this box but we're going to make it again but we're going to make it in different colour we're going to be doing it in real red and gold foil as well. This piece is for the base and I want to make it re do a reinforced box just with the, it being a tin being a bit heavier. I'd want to make sure that it's not going to, you know, get all battered and stuff. So this needs to measure 11 and 11 sixteenths by 10 and 9 sixteenths. I'm really sorry about the measurements. Um, it's just so I can get the lid to fit really nice. Then on all four sides, you want to score it at one and a quarter, then two and three quarters, and just rotate it and do it on all four sides, okay? So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll just go ahead and fold and burnish these score lines. So that's that done. Now as with any reinforced box, we've got these four squares here in the corner and you're just going to cut up straight to the second score line. So longer scissors might be a little bit better for this size box. So you've cut up there like that and then we're just going to cut these bottom two sections off. You'll be familiar with how to do a reinforced box if you've watched any of my tutorials. Um, but there's loads out there on YouTube and stuff like that with instructions. So we want to cut up this one here. And then we're just going to slightly mitre. And just give it a little bit of an edge here. And we're going to make these into a tab. Just cut little sections off each side. And then again, a slight wedge off this one. Then we're just going to do that all the way going around the box. Feel free to fast forward it if you're getting sick of me. And then put up here. Just wedge in that one there. And then slightly wedge out that one. And then not forgetting this bottom piece here, just a slight little sliver off. And then we just turn it round and we do exactly the same. Just so this don't get stuck. And cut the bottom two pieces away. Cut up this one. Wedge this one out slightly. Make these in those tabs. Them being very neat. And then slightly wedge here. Then we want to the last one. two sections can be removed so 
right on here. Right, so when it's all cut, <clears throat> this is the shape that you'll be left with. I'm just going to mind all my rubbish out of the way. So yeah, this is what you're going to be left with. So we're going to flip this over and you want to fold these tabs in because we're going to put adhesive on here. I'm just going to use my fast fuse. Just run it down. And again. I put some sticky on there somewhere. And then what I'm going to do, make sure that they don't touch the bottom. I'm also going to go and put some fast fuse along each of these sections as well. So much easier to do when it's like this. So what you want to do, just with any normal box that you would, you just want to fold this in and line up that corner just like that and again with this side just continue going all the way around <clears throat> excuse me make sure you're in shot and it goes in there and then the last one just put something there like that you can get your bone folder in if you want, but the fuse doesn't take much um, to stick. Then what you want to do with these bits is you just want to fold them over. So go on in. Just keep on folding them over like that. And go all the way around. And then get your bone folder in. And just make sure they're nice square edges. Now, with any luck, if I've got my measurements right, we'll bring back in our biscuits and these should fit really nicely in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this to one side while we do our lid. For our lid, I've got a piece of gold card here and this measures eight and a quarter by seven and one eighth. I want to score it on all four sides at one inch and just rotate it, okay? So we're just going to fold and burnish. Sometimes with foil you've got to be a little bit gentle. Um, but it's okay. Like that. We'll come back in with our scissors. And obviously this isn't a reinforce. This is, we're just going to cut up to that, that one to the score line. And just make these into tabs. Can do it like I'm doing it where it's I call it like a windmill effect so a portion of the tab goes on each side or you could do them all facing the same way it's completely up to you and it doesn't affect the closure of the box that one's going to wait to cook right do that one again rubbish so that is what we left with now uh, before i'm going to stick this together i'm going to put my dsp on because i've found it is so much easier so the dsp i'm using is this one and isn't it gorgeous all them stitched them stars and then you've got a bit that's quite non-traditional on the back as well this is from our, our quilted christmas dsp and i'll give you a quick flip so you can see some of them and just really nice you've got your real red you've got lemon lime twist garden green whisper white blush and bride i believe and you've got that one there where you can cut it and make it in trees little flag banners and i just it's lovely and this these ones on here also coordinate with the D 
die set, I can't, I can't remember what it's called now, um, but it's on the same page as this paper in the annual catalogue and that will cut that out as well. So what I've got here, I've got a piece, this is going to go on the top like this and this measures four and seven eighths by six inches. So with it being a 6 by 6 pad you just need to take a sliver off the side. And then for these sides, the two short sides, they measure three quarters of an inch by four and seven eighths. And these ones measure six by three quarters of an inch. So we'll just get these stuck on. I'm going to be really brave and use Fast Fuse. Fast Fuse is great, but if you don't get it where you want it first time round, then you've got no hope of getting it off. So I'm going to try and do this without getting my head in the camera. Oh, right, that's down. It is, a, I think it's a bit wibbly, is it? It'll do. That's the best. It could have been worse. So I'm just going to get our long pieces now. And just apply some adhesive. And then we're just going to line that up and make sure it's nice and straight. That one's gone on a bit better. I'd love to know if you have a, a favourite colour combo for Christmas. I'm not really a gold person. I never have been, um, but I do like these colours together. They're very traditional. I quite like my blues and my whites, my silvers, my blacks and my pinks at the moment. As you can probably tell. Maybe just one more. Stick this on. Like that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put some fast fuse on all four of our tabs. And then I'm just going to do two corners. So as the same with any other box, you just line this up. Just pop that in and again on that side. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back in our base with our biscuits in. And this is a top tip that I remember of when I started crafting. And if you get it so it goes around the box, you will get a lovely flush finish. So it won't gape too much and then just pop that one down and then just push this one over got a little bit there that needs cutting off Oops. so now we're going to take that off we'll just leave that there a second i'll just go in with our bone folder just make sure this is pushed it done nice like that now this is the the testing moment and there we go that box fits lovely on there it's so nice and snug it just looks so decadent doesn't it now what i've got for ribbon because i didn't want to use any gold i really wanted to do a bit of a mashup and i'm deciding on using this emerald mb which is the crinkled the crinkled seam binding ribbon it's a five eighth of an inch um, and it is lovely, and it is in the Emerald Envy. I'm just going to take this last piece off. And just get rid of that. One second. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same as what I've done on the other box. I'm just going to more or less fold in the middle. I'm going to keep hold of it there, and I'm just going to... 
put it round over one corner. This is how I've done it. And then I want it so it comes up here. And the same with this one. And here we go with the bow again. You must think I'm crazy. I'm gluttoning for punishment, aren't I? So then we're just going to tie this around here. Like this. This one's beautiful. This, this ribbon just feels so nice. I'm actually going to do a, a loop, swoop and pull. Or rather than bunny ears. Let's see how that works out. Obviously it looks a bit messy at the moment. Right, try it one more time. I'm very sorry about this. You just must get sick of me watching me trying to do the simplest of bows. If anyone has any top tips, then please share. Sometimes they come out beautiful and other times they just hate me. I'm sure they do. Right, this one's a bit better. I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit. Hiya, it's Steffi here from fyancards.blogspot.co.uk. I'm really sorry about that. Um, for some reason, my camera said that maximum time had been reached. I've managed to finish the bow. I'm going to go pretty quickly, just in case... Oh, I haven't done that very well. Um, just in case it decides to cut off again. So this is how my bow now sits. I just love that. What I've used is I've got these three base pieces here I cut these out all using our layering ovals and I've got a large scallop I've got one in emerald envy and then I used this stamp set here and I've used this December deliciousness stamp that using real red cut that out and I'm just going to layer them all together and stick on top of this box so I'm just going to use some dimensionals I'm just trying to go as quick as I can for some reason my phone's being naughty because I do um, I record on my phone I haven't actually got a proper camera so I'm going to put this one on top of the gold first get rid of these backs I'm just going to lay that on quite central and then again this one take all the back and papers off oh getting stuck and then again with this one just put it so it's a nice little border all the way around a bit of my fast fuse I'll get a flick and then this is just going to sit right in the middle I'm not happy with these balls I'm just going to sit them a bit more And then just to finish off with a couple of little decorations on the outside, I'm going to take some of these gorgeous gold faceted gems and my pokey tool. And I'm just going to put a couple on here. A bit of muck on it there. straight the straight is going to have to be right and there we are that is my gorgeous little box and um, i hope you like it thanks for watching bye